I'm going to show you how to display the contents of a number of variables in a single message box. Specifically, I want to look at string concatenation. In this program, I've declared three string variables st first name, st last name, and st gender. I've also got an integer called i shoe size. Here, I'm using the input box function repeatedly to prompt the user to enter this information. Let's output this information in a single message box. st first name, st last name, gender, and shoe size. Notice the concatenation operator, the ampersand symbol, which I've put in between each of these variable names. Notice also I haven't used any double quotes here because it's the contents of the variables which I want to output. So when I run the program, type in my name, my gender, and my shoe size, the contents of those variables are being output in one string. It's a little bit messy and I now need to deal with that. What I can do is in between each of these variable names I can simply concatenate a space. Notice the concatenation operator on either side of that space string. So let's try it again. A little bit tidier this time. I might want to add some more strings, for example, I might just say hello. Notice how I've included a space inside this literal string. Hello, Kevin Drum, mail 7. Let's build this up a bit more. you are uh, whatever your gender is and in here I'm going to replace the space this time with and your feet are size whatever the shoe size is so let's see what we get this time hello Kevin Drum you are a male and your feet are size 7 just to summarize I'm joining strings together here using the concatenation operator. So there's a quoted string that will be taken literally. Then I have the concatenation operator and then I'm including the contents of this string variable. Another concatenation operator and then this string, simply a space. Another concatenation operator, my last name and so on. So far, all I've done is join strings together, or the contents of string variables. Let's do something slightly different now. What I'd like to do is have the message box occurring over several lines. Let me explain. After the last name, I'm going to type a special constant. This is the VB new line constant. Notice how I've used a concatenation operator on either side of it. When I run this, you can see it's thrown a new line in the message box immediately after my surname. Let's do that again. I'll put another VB new line after the gender. Making sure that there's an ampersand symbol on either side of it. Run the program. and it's starting to look a little bit more presentable. One final point I'd like to make is how I can deal with the fact that this is such a long line of code now. It's getting a little bit unwieldy and a little bit difficult to see the code. 
What I'd really like to do is just wrap the code across several lines. What I can do is use space followed by underscore to wrap a line. So if I put a space here, then an underscore character, I can press enter and wrap that code down onto the next line. I can do the same here, for example. Space followed by an underscore, and that simply allows me to continue the same line of code across multiple lines. It doesn't change anything in terms of the way the code runs or the output which is being displayed. It just lets me wrap this single line of code across multiple lines for readability and ease of maintenance. Something else I like to do as well is just put a couple of spaces there, just indent these lines a little bit so I can see that they're a continuation of the same line. The only rule with space underscore is you are not allowed to use it within a quoted string. So I would get a syntax error if I tried to put it there. OK, let's finish off then, see if this works. There we go.